Hello, Gemini. Thank you so much for joining me for your September romance reading. Um, it's concentrating on the time frame of September 1st through the 15th. It's general as always, guys. It's not going to resonate with everyone. So if you are looking to schedule a personal private reading, please access the information down below this video, and I'd love to schedule one for you. I've gone ahead and pre-shuffled the cards, guys, and have laid them out. So let's get started, Gemini, all right? So right now, we're going to be starting off with the root of the situation, which is worth waiting for. Worth waiting for. That card has a lot of good energies coming through at this time. I'm feeling really strong love coming from this card. Um, I feel, Gemini, that you made a connection in the past with an individual where you really felt that they were of soulmate quality and that they unexpectedly came into your life. You weren't expecting this connection to take such a hold of your heart in the way that it did, okay? You really truly felt that they were unlike anyone else that you've ever met in your life. Okay, and I feel, Gemini, that you've had quite a few relationships that ended up not working out, but when this connection came into your life, you really did feel that, wow, you were happy, and it re they really felt like they were your soulmate. You just had a great connection with this individual, and that they you really did feel they were worth waiting for because you had never experienced that type of love or passion for someone, not on that type of connection. What's crossing this worth waiting for card is release your ex. I'm feeling that you had another relationship in your life to where you guys were in a committed relationship with this individual, but there were definitely challenges in this connection and you guys ended up not working out, okay? Interestingly enough, I pulled two clarifier cards for the Release Your X card, and I ended up getting two major Arcana cards, which is the Sun and the World card. Okay, so starting off with the Successful Completion card, okay, traditional tarot, it is the world, and this card states, this is a time of incredible accomplishment you're justified in feeling joy, a sense of completion and pride in the amazing job you've done. You've been blessed with many spiritual insights. Soon you'll begin a new journey, but for now, take time to bask in the happiness of your dreams coming true. Okay, so you took the time to release your ex and you have moved on from that connection and simultaneously, you had made a connection with someone you felt was your soulmate, but I am feeling that there is a disconnection there, that you're not with them at this time, okay? And so this successful completion card, this world card, is almost a contradiction, okay? Because the release, your ex card, is crossing you. So everything that this card stands for is quite the opposite of what it's saying. Okay, so it's almost like it, it's blocking you from achieving what it is you want to accomplish because you have these two relationships that are a part of your life's history that ended up not working out, but they've made such an impact in your life that it's somewhat blocking you from giving fully of yourself in other relationships, if that makes sense, okay? I mean, this is the world card, completion, dreams coming true. But you're blocking your dreams from coming true, Gemini, because you're still holding on to 
the elements of these two relationships that really impacted you, both negatively and positively, and you're really kind of taking those experiences and holding onto it and bringing it forward in your relationships that you're in now. So a part of these energies that are coming from these two individuals that you had relationships with in the past, um, it may be weighing you down a little bit, okay? So those are the energies coming through there. And then the other clarifier card I got was the positive, oops, sorry, the positive recognition card, which is the sun. And it reads, congratulations, your plans have worked out perfectly and now it's your time to shine. Brilliant new ideas will present themselves to you and success is all but assured. Express yourself openly and honestly, knowing that those surrounding you are trustworthy. Be open to unexpected opportunities. Again, because it is the clarifier for the card that is challenging you, which is the release your ex, as much positive energy should be coming from the sun card. It's the total opposite, okay? It's coming through as a block right now. So let's do a little bit more digging and see where this is going to take you, Gemini, okay? So the basis of the situation is you got to let go of control issues, especially in your romantic life. You have to allow the situation to unfold naturally. So you have to have healed from these two relationships in the past in order to move forward in your other relationships that want to come in for you. Okay, and you can't rush that type of healing. So you really need to allow yourself to heal on its own time. Okay, so don't try to rush yourself into healing the situation. It really has to happen when it's meant to happen. Now the past position, we've got the wedding card. So I am feeling, I am feeling third party here. I'm feeling third party situation here. Some of you guys were married and you stepped out of the relationship, okay? And or some of you guys connected with someone in the past who was married. And it could very well have been one of these individuals here. I'm feeling that the one that you felt was worth waiting for was the one who was married. Okay, and you chose to pursue a relationship with this individual because there was such a strong connection there. But the fact of the matter is that they were already committed in another relationship. The bottom card for you, Gemini, is playfulness and you absolutely emanate those qualities. But this person, the one that you felt was worth waiting for, they were really a great connection for you. You guys had that playful energy with each other and you guys definitely enjoyed each other's company, no doubt. But they are no longer in your life, I'm feeling. That connection has ended. But you're still feeling remnants of the connection that you had with them and I feel that you always will. It's always gonna be a part of your heart, a part of your life's history, okay? So now moving forward in the present position, we've got let your friends help you. So for those of you who are really struggling to get past relationships that you endured in the past that did not work out, um, absolutely turn to your friends and or family that you can really rely on to talk to about these issues in your love life. They're there to help you, okay? So ask for and accept support from others, absolutely. Moving forward into the future position, we have keep an open mind, Gemini. Okay, so you're going to make a connection in the future with your soulmate, and they may, may ver very well differ from your usual type and expectation. Someone that you would not normally have been interested in in the past. They could be of a different ethnicity, have different features that you're normally not, normally not attracted to. Uh, personality type might be a little bit different. But whatever the case may be, they're going to be someone unlike anyone you've ever met, okay? 
and it's gonna surprise you because they will definitely be your soulmate but they won't be your typical type that you've uh, been interested in in the past Gemini the power of the situation is healing family issues so I'm definitely feeling that someone has a uh, tension in the connection they have with their parents all right um, it may be you Gemini all right and or a person that you've connected with either in the past or someone you're going to be connecting with in the future will have issues with their parents and that relationship needs to be healed in order for it to not bleed forward into your connection with that individual okay now how others see you is retreat okay and even though this photo has a picture of a married couple retreating and disconnecting from the world I'm feeling more so for you, Gemini, that it's representative of you retreating from really experiencing life to the fullest because you're holding back a little bit. I do feel some of you guys are in a new relationship and it's still fairly new, possibly two to three months old. And even though there may be potential for long term there in this relationship and this connection, um, you're really taking your time. You, you don't want things to move along too quickly and that's so unlike you Gemini because in the past you've wanted your relationships to really escalate faster than they they have been with this one okay an interesting card to come through for hopes and fears is honeymoon because I feel that perhaps the person you're with at this time or someone you're gonna connect with in the future you guys are not gonna be quite on the same page like you are not quite ready to commit and yet they already see a future with you by way of getting married and having a honeymoon okay now the outcome express your love gemini all right you can't go wrong as long as you express what is in your heart with the person that you are with so be truthful with yourself and really assess where you're coming from all right um you definitely don't want to have any more third-party situations or um, come off as if you're a player or someone that jumps from relationship to relationship you want stability you want your soulmate you want someone that's worth waiting for your person all right and so I, I do feel Gemini that the only way you're gonna be able to express your love is if it's someone that's truly deserving of you someone that you truly feel is of soulmate quality and someone that you can see spending your whole life with okay and if you do get to that point and I feel that for some of you you will go ahead and make the romantic gesture because that is what's going to solidify a happy future for you that's what is going to take you to the next step of wanting to spend the rest of your life with that individual all right and the bottom tarot card that came through for Gemini is eight of action okay representative of uh, the eight of wands in traditional tarot deck and this card states there's so much going on right now that it may feel overwhelming to you and yet it's wonderful to be so busy with the work that you love express gratitude for the blessings of heaven that are taking up your time even if life feels challenging if you're asked to travel and take a flight then do so with confidence okay so that's an added message that the angels wanted to bring forth for you Gemini so let's go ahead and pull some healing messages for you guys for this first half of September angels please bring forth your healing messages for Gemini September 1st through the 15th and let's see what the angels have for you guys All right, Gemini. So again, a very specific message that came here for you guys from the Romance Angels, but hopefully whoever this resonates with, that it really will help you figure out how to proceed in the future. All right, so let's get some healing messages for Gemini, please, Angels. September, oh, there we go. September 1st through the 15th. Wow. Okay, so... We've got the freedom card here. Okay, this comes about as a result of the work that you did to release your ex, okay? You regained your freedom, took back control of your life, all right, in order to move forward. Um, for some of you, I am feeling a bit of a struggle there, 
but um, this card is coming through to affirm that you will eventually find a way to regain your freedom in that area, okay? And once you do, once you do, Gemini, look who's coming for you. You've got your soulmate coming in, and that is the person that you want to express your love to, okay? So they're coming for you. For some of you guys, for a small group of you guys, I feel that this is a connection that you've made in the past. Um, as far-fetched as this is, this person that you felt was worth waiting for, for a small group of you guys, I feel that possibly there could be a reconciliation here. And you always did feel that they were your soulmate. Okay. And when they come through, they are the one that you truly want to express your love to because they are the one for you. For others, for some of my singles that are unattached at this time, your soulmate will be coming for you in the future. Perhaps you will be making that connection this first half of September for some of you guys. Okay. And for others of you, you are going to regain the freedom that you have so been searching for, that you have been needing to release yourself from your connection to the past. All right, Gemini. So let's close out your reading this first half of September with angel answers. So please clear your mind and ask a specific question that you need the angels to answer for you at this time, Gemini, okay? And let's see what answers the angels have. All right. Here we go. All right, Gemini, so clear your head, clear your mind. Let's see what answers comes, come through for you. Angels, please bring forth your answer or answers for Gemini this first half of September. Okay, wow. You know, this card has been coming through so much for my September readings, that's crazy. So ask for help from others, Gemini, okay? This could be representative of your friends, your family, those closest to you. When you're going through challenging times or if you ever need advice, absolutely turn to them. They are there for you. This could also be representative of angels or um, praying to, you know, your God or whoever it is that you believe in, okay? They are there watching out for you and are there to help and assist you and direct you. Okay, and the bottom card, guys, is forgiveness. Okay, so some of my Geminis, I'm really feeling, need to forgive themselves, okay, for past indiscretions and um, for mistakes you've made and you've been a little bit harsh on yourself. So you need to forgive yourself, okay? Now, for those of you needing forgiveness from others, I feel that that will be coming possibly this first half of September, or you may get receive a message or get a phone call that you've been wanting um, to hear from someone and needing to close that door to that situation and you've been really needing an apology, okay? I feel that that forgiveness will be coming through, okay? And it will allow you to be able to move on. All right, guys. So those are my messages for Gemini at this time. I hope, guys, that whoever this resonated for, that it truly does help you and um, it helped clarify things for you. All right, guys. So again, it's general. It's not going to resonate with everybody. Um, if you are interested in getting your own personal reading, please access the information down below this video and let's schedule a reading for you guys. All right. So I'll be back second half of September with more videos. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.